Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 8 equals 4 to the power of x. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 9 as 2 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of 1. Because remember, if we have a to the power of x times a to the power of y, this is equal to a to the power of x plus y. And I'm still subtracting this with 2 to the power of 8. And this is equal to 4 to the power of x. Now, since we have two terms with 2 to the power of 8, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor 2 to the 8 out of this expression. So now 2 to the power of 8 divided by, if we take out 2 to the power of 8 from 2 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of 1, we're simply just left with 2 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 2. And minus 2 to the power of 8 divided by 2 to the power of 8 is 1. And this is still equal to 4 to the power of x. Now, 2 minus 1 is simply 1. So 2 to the power of 8 times 1 equals 4 to the power of x. Now, 4 to the power of x, this can actually be rewritten as 2 squared to the power of x. All we did was we replaced 4 with 2 squared. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 8 times 1 is simply just 2 to the power of 8. Now, an important property of exponents is that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is the same thing as 2x. And this is still equal to 2 to the power of 8. Now, because we have the same bases, then that must mean our exponents here, these two must be the same as well, because this equation would not be true if these exponents are different meaning that our exponents are the same, meaning a equals 2x. And now, as you can see, we have a simple equation, and we just want to solve for x now. So if we divide by 2 on both sides, these two cancel out, and we get 8 divided by 2 equals x, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So x, x equals 4. And this is our answer. The Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n equals 2016. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to set m equal to n plus k, k being a constant. Now, if this is true, then we also know that n is equal to m minus k. And k is a constant. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace m with n plus k. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of n plus k minus 2 to the power of n equals 2016. 
Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of n plus m, this can also be written as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So 2 to the power of n plus k, this can be written as 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k. And we are still subtracting this with 2 to the power of n, and this is equal to 2016. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rewrite 2016 as 2 to the power of 5 times 63. And this is still equal to what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of n from this. So if I factor out 2 to the power of n, I get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of n is simply 2 to the power of k. And 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n is 1, so minus 1. So we get 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1. And this is still equal to 2 to the power of 5 times 63. Now, as you can see, this is even. So I'm writing E for even. This is going to be odd. I'm going to write an O for odd. And this is odd because we're going to subtract 1 from the 2 to the power of k. This is 2 to the power of n. So any number that you plug in, this would be even because it's 2 to the power of something. And 2 is an even number. However, we're still going to subtract 1. So this is actually going to be odd. And now from this, remember, this is even. 2 to the power of anything will result in an even number, and 63 is odd. So I'm writing O for odd. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the evens equal to each other. So 2 to the power of n equals 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, because these two have the same bases, we know that the exponents are equal to each other, meaning n is equal to 5. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set the odds equal to each other. So 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. So now if I add 1 on both sides, I get 2 to the power of k equals 63 plus 1 is 64. And what 2 to the power of what equals 64? 6. So k is equal to 6. So we know that m is equal to n plus k. So we already have the values for n and k. n is 5 and k is 6. Meaning m is equal to 5 plus 6, which is 11. So m is 11. So now we have our values for n and m.